Let me explain you what is the fate of furnacile pyrophosphate in, in the, during the cholesterol biosynthesis. So as you can see here, acetyl CoA molecules they condense with one another, making mavalonate, and mavalonate will form isopentanyl pyrophosphate, geranyl pyrophosphate, furnacile pyrophosphate, and furnacile pyrophosphate eventually going into cholesterol biosynthesis. So we have seen that particular thing now. So let me explain you what are the other fates of this furnacile pyrophosphate that is uh, intermediate in the cholesterol biosynthesis. FPP there is furnacile pyrophosphate. Now this furnacile pyrophosphate it is not only going into cholesterol biosynthesis it is also used in the synthesis of coenzyme Q that is CoQ10 coenzyme Q10 which is also called as ubiquinone ubiquinol or ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is a, a reduced form, ubiquinone is an oxidized form. So this coenzyme Q10 or ubiquinol it is involved in electron transport chain. In fact this is a, one of the mobile complex in electron transport chain and it is participating in the electron transport chain uh, be, be, are making an ATP synthesis. Now if uh, all the tissues that contains uh, all the tissues that need a lot of energy like uh, liver like kidney and the brain they express highest concentration of coenzyme Q10 that means they are going to divert this furnacile pyrophosphate into coenzyme Q10 formation. Now if uh, uh, say consider that the person is uh, uh, having hypercholesterolemia and in a hypercholesterolemia one of the treatment is they use a drug called statins. And the statins will inhibit HNG coA reductase enzyme. So, when the HNG coA reductase enzyme is inhibited, that leads to decrease in the synthesis of mavalonate, which will lead to decrease in the synthesis of cholesterol, and that's fine. But take a look at that. When you inhibit HNG coA reductase, you are also decreasing furnacile pyrophosphate, and that means you are going to decrease the concentration of coenzyme Q10. And uh, decreasing the coenzyme Q10 will decrease electron transport chain efficiency. So overall ATP synthesis can be decreased and this can be seen predominantly in the skeletal muscles specifically and patients who are on uh, statins, some of them, so they can have rhabdomyolysis, breakdown of skeletal muscle, myopathy and weakness and all that. So myoglobinuria, all these signs can be seen as a side effect of statins because Furnacell pyrophosphate is decreased that leads to decrease in coenzyme Q10. So that is another fate of uh, furnacile pyrophosphate is to go into coenzyme Q10. Now the second fate of furnacile pyrophosphate is to go into dolicol biosynthesis. Dolicol it will be incorporated in the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and this dolicol it will participate in N-linked glycosylation process. So the N-linked glycoproteins are N-linked proteoglycons. So where the, the carbohydrate is attached to a protein molecule, so with the asparagin residue and that kind of N-linked proteoglycon formation or N-linked uh, glycoprotein formation, N-glycosylation process, it will be using dolicol as a base or as a support over which you are building a carbohydrate unit and later it will be transported to a protein molecule. So N-linked glycosylation process needs dolicol and also furnacile pyrophosphate they are used in pranylation process protein pranylation so protein pranylation process uses furnacile pyrophosphate and also it uses geranyl pyrophosphate the geranyl geranyl moiety or the furnacile moiety will be attached to a protein molecule especially n terminal cystins will be attached with furnacile pyrophosphate which is called as furnacilation it will be attached with geranyl, geranyl moiety which is called a geranylation. So we have uh, enzymes, specific enzymes to do that. We have furnacile transferases, geranyl, geranyl transferases. That particular attachment of FPP or uh, GPPs to a protein molecule, we call it as pranylation process. And this protein pranylation is, uh, it has been noted to participate in protein-protein interaction, protein-membrane interaction. And also the RAF, the RAF RAS proteins interaction also needs this furnacilation process. So we have uh, nowadays there are certain drugs which are under clinical trials where which are referred as furnacile transferase inhibitors. So which are used as uh, antiparasitic drugs or uh, drugs used in progeria and some of the drugs used in uh, treatment of cancer. 
So that is what is a prenylation process where furnacyl pyrophosphate is uh, used in the prenylation process and helps in protein-protein interaction or protein membrane interaction. These are some of the uses of furnacyl pyrophosphate which is an intermediate in the cholesterol biosynthesis. This is all about uh, the fates of furnacyl pyrophosphate which is an uh, intermediate in uh, cholesterol biosynthesis. If you have any questions so kindly let me know in the comment section below and also make sure you click the subscription button down there so that you get a regular updates whenever I upload a video. And also if you like the video so give thumbs up and uh, see you in my next video.